Hey, Run Junkies, it's Social Saturday, where we talk about the social aspects of running, which is weird because for many of us, running can be a very lonely sport, which is why sometimes what we will do as runners is, hey, call up a friend and let's go run a race together. And yes, this can be a lot of fun if you do it right. But on the other hand, if you are running in a race with someone you don't normally run with, it can turn a fun event into kind of a nightmare. But first, we have to be willing to have a couple of hard conversations. We can't avoid those possibly uncomfortable and awkward moments where we have to basically make the decision to either part ways or keep running and adjust pace. So maybe this has happened to you. Maybe you have signed up for a race that you are going to run with your friend. You don't train with one another very frequently, if at all, and you're meeting up to do this event for fun. So it's possible that on that race day, you aren't at the same athletic level, or maybe one of you's just having a bad race day or not feeling 100%. Maybe both of you have unspoken plans and expectations, a vision in your mind of how that race is gonna go, but the reality isn't really stacking up to those expectations, maybe even for either of you. One or both of you is getting frustrated or upset. So then in the middle of this race, we're left wondering how could this have been avoided? What do I do now? Do I just let them go do their thing? Do I try to keep up and destroy myself to do this? So how do we lay it all out and still get what we want out of a race? When we head into a race with someone we don't normally train with, it's a good idea to have a conversation and a plan about how that race is gonna go and not five minutes before the gun goes off. And how do we do that? Well, number one, we need to be honest about our training. Did we do what we set up to, to do at the beginning of the training cycle? Were we consistent or did we maybe not train as well as we might've liked? Are you ready for race day? What do you hope to achieve by the end of the race? Now, look, I get it. I have heard it and I've said it myself. I just wanna go out and have fun. And while yes, that might be true and I hope it is, but what does that look like? Because because the definition of fun varies from runner to runner and even for the same runner from race to race. Even in your own secret mind, do you have a quiet expectation about some kind of big time goal that you might be disappointed if you don't meet it by the end of the race? Or are you running Walt Disney World Marathon and you really want to get on Expedition Everest before the end of that race? Because that, that takes a lot of talking somebody into. Once those questions are answered, then it's easier to come up with a race day plan because mile 10 of a half marathon or mile 20 of a full marathon, no one is thinking clearly enough to have a rational conversation, especially if that race isn't going the way you were hoping it would. If you are running in a race with someone, whether they are at your athletic level or not, it is best to have those types of conversations before the gun even goes off. This plan does not have to be complicated though. We don't want to have to think too much if we're getting to a point where we have to make a different call and adjust our race day plan during the race. You and your friend have a race pace planned out. Figure out what you want out of that day. If you're running in a Run Disney event, the factors multiply exponentially. Reevaluate at regular intervals throughout the race, maybe every mile or so, but make sure you're listening and paying attention to what's going on around you because if your partner is starting to slow down a little bit or breathe a little heavier, that might be a good time to check in and say, you know, hey, how you feeling? Is this pace good? Do we need to slow down? If you are that person who needs to slow down or stop or take a break, don't be afraid to say something like that. This is supposed to be fun. You are in it for the enjoyment of the race. Don't kill yourself trying to keep up with your friend. Couple of other good things to communicate ahead of time in your race day plan with your friend. Communicate what happens if you do have to separate. Let's just say you're done and your friend needs to keep going. What are you gonna do about that? Also, if you get separated by accident, how are you going to find each other at a later point in the race? So let's go back a little bit and say, what happens if the two of you have to separate because one is just not having a good day and the other feels good and wants to finish strong? This is a tough conversation and frankly, it can lead to some hurt feelings, maybe on both sides. The race is not going the way either of you expected and you might have to make the call to either sacrifice your goals and finish together or venture forth on your own. What are you going to do? How are you going to communicate that? 
that during the race? And what will be the mental and emotional ramifications? That's when you plan your worst case scenario. This is the point at which if you're not feeling into it and you just don't know how you're gonna finish this race strong, that's when you say to your friend, you know what? Go, have fun. Good luck, I love you, I will see you at the finish line. And then on the flip side of that, if you are feeling strong, say, you know what, I love you too, I will see you at the finish line and I will be cheering you when you come in. Look, I get it, this is so much easier said than done, especially when I'm sitting here talking to you guys in a camera. But if you decide on how you are going to manage those strange, weird scenarios when you're running with your friend, even if you cross the finish line at two separate times, you will still feel good about your race day. Because here's one thing to remember when you are running races with your friends. It's still your journey and yours alone. Your race, your pace. No matter what you decide to do during that race and how you manage those scenarios, a good friend is going to be cheering you on whether they cross the finish line right alongside you or a mile ahead or a mile behind. The bottom line is this, when racing with friends, it is a great idea to keep the lines of communication open from well before the race start until all the way until you cross the finish line. And your enjoyment of this race might just be dependent on the attitude you bring into it. So my question for you today is this, have you ever had a scenario where you've had to have a hard conversation in the middle of the race? What did you do about it? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. As always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We are back with more Vlogtober tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for me today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Go find your awesome, and until tomorrow, happy running.